Hello everyone, today we're comparing two pedals which I rarely see any video comparisons of. First off is the Zotic EP Booster. Now everyone knows about the famous Echoplex preamp and this is what this pedal aims to deliver. It takes that magic juice from the preamp of the Echoplex and condenses it to this one tiny pedal. Now what we're comparing it against is the MXR Mini Booster. Now the Mini Booster is an interesting pedal. It is combining the Dunlop Echoplex preamp as well as the MXR Micro and Booster. Now the EP Booster is just a single knob pedal on the front. However, inside there are two dip switches. One is to add a 3 dB gain boost and the other one is to roll off the high end. With the MXR Mini Booster, you have a volume and a tone on the front and there is an internal trim port which you can adjust the amount of gain that the pedal provides. So in that sense, the EP Booster has a dip switch to add gain and with the MXR Mini Booster, you have an internal trim port instead. So for the entire demo, I'm going to leave the internal trim port where it's set with the MXR Mini Booster and with the EP Booster, I'll be starting with the 3dB gain off and you'll watch me add it to taste to just kind of hear what does the pedal do different with the dip switches engaged. So we're going to compare these pedals two ways. We're going to try it in front of the amp first followed by the effects loop after that. And through the front of the amp, we're going to test it through a clean channel. And with the effects loop, we're going to try it with both clean as well as distorted channels. I'm using my Fender Telecaster going into each of these pedals into a Hughes and Kenner Tumeister Deluxe 20.
there you go that was the comparison between the two pedals now they are clearly very different things now with the mxr mini booster it of course has much more gain since it's combining both the characteristics of the echoplex preamp pedal as well as the micro amp booster if you notice the tone up almost maxed out gets the most transparent sounding tone so in that sense that the tone up is always rolling off high end the echoplex is delivering more of that magic eq setting so to say it's providing a bit more depth to the tone a bit more warmth it brings out more low end out of a twangy instrument so to make your choice you got to know what you want to achieve with your booster pedals whether you want the echoplex preamp purely for that color of your tone that specific low end added to your tone and depth and warmth or you would like more gain on tap in which the mxr mini booster will be for you but one more point to take note is that with the EP booster, you can actually fit a 9 volt battery into the pedal. Let us know what you think about the tones achieved here today. Leave a comment down below. I have a couple more videos comparing boost pedals, so you can check out the EP booster being compared with the Spark Booster Mini. And also, I have another boost video comparing all the single knob boost pedals out there. So that will involve the micro amp, custom audio electronics MC401 Clean Boost, Spark Booster, Electro Harmonics LPB1. Check that out on our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content and see you real soon.